Hey man, it's been a while since I make a. I've been made a video in a while because I have been making this radar system. Well, the beginning I I tried to talk fast, but it didn't work out for me. Yeah. Anyway, uh, this will show you how this works. My two month project. Yeah. First input is gonna be brown. Next input is gonna be yellow. This can hold up to six inputs. I have a burp trying to come out halfway, so if I do talk a bit weird, it's because the burp's coming out or something. Anyway, we're going all the way to that color over there. Next, we're going to go all the way to this. Oh, wait, you can hear pressure plates, but there isn't any pressure plates down here. Uh, yeah. Blue, so this can record six. It can record one more. I'll go back to this one just to show you I can reuse this. Uh, yeah, see, there's no pressure plates. It's I'll show you what the pixels are back there, but they use pressure plates anyway. Let's go play. So, first is that, 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 and that. And the good thing about this is that I can read it again. So, this is I can read it as many times as I want. Yep, it works, and to erase all the memory, I just click this button. And it does, you can see that thing blinking over there, it usually takes around a second or two to delete everything. There we go, everything's deleted, to show you that everything's deleted, nothing will play. There we go. Anyway, this uses all D flip-flops and AND gates and lots of RS and all actions and stuff like that. I don't want to get down into detail because it's quite confusing, but... Just to show you how everything works here, this is basically everything, all of this, all summed down to this little D flip flop and an AND gate. Oh, and how everything's responding really fast is using instant wires, so you can make this really big, it's not going to delay or anything, it's still going to be in the same speed as this, so the read time takes 9 ticks for all the information to come out from this memory area all the way to your display. And it takes around five ticks to write your memory, your information. Yeah, very fast. Anyway, wait, hold on, it's not five ticks, it's, this is five repeaters that are fully max, I think. No, 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 no. It takes around. 12 ticks, less than 12 ticks to write, whatever, I'm getting off track anyway. This is basically a D flip flop for all you cool kids out there who don't know anything about this, because I didn't know anything about this until I started into this project. Uh, a D flip flop is basically, you have your input area, it has to be toggled, and for it to get the memory, you have to clock it. So you just have to activate that, and there we go, the memory stays on. Right, yeah, And to read, I have this read liner, I have this reading input, this is the reading output. If I do the reading input, as you can see, the output is whatever this is, so if I clock it again, as soon as how nothing's on, it will disappear. That's off. That's the uh, reading now, it's nothing, it's off. That's basically how it works, it uses a lot of instant wire. This is not complicated, it might look complicated, but it's just pretty simple. Here I have the reset system. Over here is basically an RS null latch connected to a a 5 tick. I think this, yeah, this is a 5 tick including that torch. It becomes a 5 tick clock or 4 tick, I don't know. Anyway, it works. This uses 4 ticks. Uh, the clocking mechanism uses 4 ticks. I Anything more isn't necessary, but anything less wouldn't work. Uh, this over here is an RS null latch that's on a self reset time to make that four ticks because uh, instant wire can't be toggled on or off. It just sends a two pulse no matter what, so I had to extend that pulse with these RS null latches. All right, that's explaining the memory system. To explain how all these works, basically I have arrows on pressure plates as you can see it activates when I'm near it if I really go really far away around here I think yeah offs uh, 
this is actually quite complicated. Well, not really complicated to explain. It'll just take a bit of time, so I'm going to save that for next video. But that's how you basically detect it. So pressure plate, fire underneath, arrow. Yeah. The number. Well, the good, the really good thing about this system is that this will work all the time when you leave the server, when you come back. Uh, when you leave the chunk and come back, it will still work. The only bad side to this is that sometimes the arrows get deleted. They don't despawn, they just get deleted for some reason. Maybe because there's just too many arrows or something, I don't know. But anyway, they just delete themselves for some strange reason. It's not a despawn, I'm 100% sure it's not a despawn. But anyway. Yeah, that's everything. Hope you guys like it, and I will see you guys later!